Okay, this is Dad Random, and we have the Mavic Air 2, and we are going to do a scenic flight with her. So here we go, all the way up the mountain. Yes, scenic flight. Now I only have uh, about 70% battery, so this should be a real test, shouldn't it? <laughs> here we go. Now this shouldn't be a problem. Um, remember, most of the energy of the drone is going to be used on the upswing. And we're in normal mode. Now I like to get that camera angle up a little bit. There we go, see if it'll hold it for a while. But most of the energy will, use, will be used going up. Um, we'll get those beautiful shots from the top. It's not a very long flight as we hug the terrain. A very, very fast flyer. So I figured that this flight would uh, probably take no more than 50% of a, any battery that I use. Now I've got to turn around here a little bit. So I'm going to go and swing this way a little bit to get that shadow off of me and we'll turn inside there we go nice and gradual easy now we've got the sensors protecting our our path And I've got both fingers on both sticks. Um, they need to be constantly maneuvered. And this is definitely a good test of, of this drone's um, uh, precision flight in what most people would be flying in for filming, which is normal mode. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. This is where everybody goes, why don't you record your screen? So there we go, screen recording. Yeah, and that messed up my freaking gimbal. Just yeah, bring her up a hair. I've got it, you know, I've got it in 17%. So make sure you turn your gimbal on uh, so it goes so it goes above zero if you're flying up anything. And I've just got to move forward here. So we get up right in the center. It's a very large area. And that took all but 2% of this drone's battery power. There we are, we're at the top. Let's do a nice slow pan. Since we're up here, right? Let's get that gimbal down a little bit. Let's get the rule of thirds going here. What a glorious morning, huh? What a glorious morning here. 
and this flight will take all of I don't know what a couple minutes <laughs> and there, there's where we came from going up that slot in the rock face right there Look at that gorgeous view out there. Oh, you just want to take that in, don't you? And then we will start our trip down in just a second. There's our morning view right there. Quite spectacular. So on the downhill swing, I've taken a lot of different routes. It's fun to go down in between the crack um, right down in here so we're gonna aim down right through here and we're going to test this drone's ability to so I'm gonna fold downward I'm gonna full downward pitch so the drone is dropping as fast as it possibly can in normal mode and all I'm doing is steering the drone down So it has a very controlled uh, ascent um, setting. There's a little bit of an adjustment I made there. I had to do a little bit of a turn adjustment. You do have to fly forward a little bit. But we are on a st we are going straight down. It, it actually goes down much slower than the Mavic. Uh, the Mavic 2. I've flown every one of my drones to the top of this hill. And as you can see, there's pretty much hard. There's pretty much zero battery loss at 48 percent on the downward fl flight. We are really using hardly any energy whatsoever. pretty today isn't it the rocks are looking good hopefully this uh, video whoa <laughs> you gotta watch out for those rocks now I'm gonna skirt the now I'm gonna skirt let's get the let's get the gimbal up I'm gonna skirt the side of the mountain and I'm gonna continue to to swing it down So I maintain the profile of the hill. I'm going to follow this ridge now. That little ridge there everybody hikes on. Not as smooth today. I think it's because the this can I don't know I did I I, I did a similar flight with the uh, with the Mavic 2 controller and this one I seem to be fighting a little bit with. I think it has mostly to do with me though this morning and has nothing to do with the controller. I'm not going to blame this controller at all. I, like I said, I got to keep my forward motion. But this drone does not does not want to uh, to descend fast, which is fine with me. We're only 500 feet away from my starting point. Oh, sorry guys, I really apologize for my really crappy flying this morning. But it certainly wasn't the fault of the drones. 
we go guys a little wave to the drone up the red mountain with dad random right there a little bit of a scenic flight um, and you can see a what uh, let's see it went up with 70% or 80% so 40% flight to that altitude and back and turn it around let's reveal where we where we basically just came from and uh, that's it guys landing all right for dad random and the mavic air 2 um another successful flight um i would say a little bit of a little bit of a breakdown of today's flight I think I did fight with the controller just a hair. It's mostly because I'm not really familiar with it. I don't have a lot of flight time on it. Um, it is a little bit more narrow than the than the Mavic 2's controller. Um, I think I think that causes you to basically um, work your sticks more inward. I think maybe there's a lot of people having that trouble with other controllers that they're not familiar with, where the sticks tend to. Uh, your, your brain thinks the sticks are going one way and it's not locking in, for example, straight forward or uh, it doesn't have the same yaw and pitch uh, 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 temperament that other drones do. But, but um, you gotta, you got to fly a drone, you know, you know, several weeks to really get. So this, this drone is uh, amazing going up, I'll tell you. But it's a little bit slow coming down. I'm sure I can, um, I don't know, maybe with the app I can control that. I can with other drones. But uh, all right, DJI. It was. I thought that was pretty good for an 80% battery, um, making a, a 1,400-foot climb. Um, that's pretty sweet. Go ahead and shut that down. And for Dad and Lena and the Mavic Air 2, thank you. Like and subscribe, please. If you love my content, please uh, take time to look at some of the other videos I have ready later. And bye.